Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome to class number four. Tonight, we're going to be talking about chapter three in my book, talking about optionals and what optionals are. Again, if you're new to the recordings, all you have to do to see the list of recordings and uh, live sessions, just go to my website at excelme.com, click on the free videos, and you can see the schedule. Uh, what's coming up as well as get to the recordings and then if you want to attend the live sessions just click here um, and then if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel or see all the other videos uh, click that and if you do subscribe you get automatic postings whenever i update a video all right so let's talk about optionals optionals are new to swift so they're new to most programmers it's a new concept even if you were a previous um, Objective-C programmer, um, iOS or Mac programming before, optionals are new. And they're a little bit different. They just, they're not hard, but they, they just take a little bit to get used to. So what are optionals? Optional values are when a value may be present. An optional means there is a value assigned to a, val uh, to a variable, or there may not be. Okay? So... Uh, back in the Objective-C days, we would say that would be nil. Well, nil isn't the same in Swift. Nil would be a pointer to nothing, okay? So it would just be a pointer with no value in it, okay? In Swift, nil doesn't mean that at all, okay? So um, in Swift, nil is not a pointer because there's no pointers in Swift. It's the absence of a value. Optionals of any type can be set to nil, not just the object types. So anytime a variable may or may not have a value, <clears throat> that's when we use optionals. So let's look at a playground app um, showing this example in the book. And we'll talk about it as well. Let me get it up here. Okay. So here is um, an example. So let's say we have a string, and this string has a string of characters 40, okay? Now we assign that to our string, and again, that's the same as saying this here, right? Oops, if I can type string, okay? So my string has the contents of a string of 40. All right now, there is a function or method that belongs to a string called toInt that will take the value of the string and convert it to an integer and assign it to an integer. So it would look something, if we, if we were to make it um, look implicit, it would look something like that, okay? We'll see why we get the little error here in just a second, okay? So this will give us an integer. So this would convert, and we see here that I get 40. All right, well, here's the issue. What happens if I do this, right? So this isn't anything that can be converted to an integer, right? These are just string values and it cannot convert ABC to an integer. So what happens is, is 2int actually returns an optional. The value may or may not be present. It would be saying the same as this. Okay, that question mark denotes an optional. Okay, it's different than this. Notice, look, I, my compiler squawks at me because it's saying to int is a optional type. We'll learn about implicitly unwrapping optionals here in our next chapter in our next session um, with something that look like will look like this. Oops use my pop bang here that's something that will look like that but we'll talk about that a little bit more in the next section so optionals may or may not contain a, a, a value and the question mark says that this is of type optional meaning it may or may not contain a value and here look it's assigned to nil it doesn't contain a value all right so that is optionals in a nutshell from chapter three. If you want more information, take a look at the book. It explains it. We'll be going over it more in the next free class. Or if you take my courses, we go over it in lots of depth and examples, especially as we're writing our, our iOS and iPad applications. 
Well, thanks for attending. Look forward to seeing you for class number five. Again, these are on Monday nights starting at 530 Pacific time. Thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you for our next class. And for those of you that are attending live, I will go ahead and stop the recording. And if you have any questions, you can type it in the question panel of your GoToWebinar control panel. And I'll be happy to answer it here after I stop the recording. Thanks, everybody.